Gross. Hi, my name is Garrett, and uh, I'm about to eat some. Ver what is this? I'm about to eat some very disgusting food for your entertainment. Ouch! That was my elbow. But, anyways, I call this Will It Combo. But, ma'am, what does Will It Combo? Oh, you want to wear? No. You are a very stupid girl, Susan. So, what is Will It Combo? Well, it's me exploiting something about myself that's gross. So, I've always had a knack for. <laughs> combining the most unlikely foods together that probably shouldn't be combined. Uh, for instance, this morning I went and I got a um, coconut, like an actual coconut, and I, I cut into it. But then I had this thought of, oh, I could, you know, I need my morning coffee, so I thought I'd get a you know, Starbucks espresso drink, and then I combined those two things together. Drank that, which was good, so then I added Captain Crunch then I also added Cheez-Its. That was, that was not one of my better combinations, but I did eat the whole thing. My point is, is that I eat really gross shit sometimes. My friends know this about me, the few that I have. My few friends, I, I don't have that many. So I thought it'd be a fun idea to ask them to send me videos of them cooking up very inventive and, and probably most of the time disgusting combinations of food. And then we are gonna go out into the world, gather these ingredients, we're gonna come back here, combine them all, and then eat whatever monstrosity we create. And it's gonna be really awful for me, but it'll be fun for you. So the first combo, unfortunately, is cooked up by somebody incredibly imaginative with food. Shane Dawson. Hey, Garrett Watts. For today's Willa combo, I would like you to eat Taco Bell's Boss Nachos and a big ass sundae from Baskin Robbins with bubblegum ice cream, birthday cake ice cream, and mint chocolate chip. <laughs> Yuck. Good luck. Thanks, Shane. I do not love Psst. Hey, Garrett, you fucking trash can. Yep. Guess what? I'm not just gonna let you combo two things. That's too easy. I want you to add a pizza hot pocket, a pop tart, a big ass jar of Nutella, Reese's peanut butter cups, ranch dressing, and last but not least, an entire mother fucking bottle of sriracha. <laughs> Good luck. Honestly, I hope you die. Oh, he says that all the time. But isn't that fun? Isn't that fun that he added those things on? All right, let's get started. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry about that. I'm a human. So the first thing that I had to do was figure out how to use this sketchy spy camera pen thing that I got from a Chinese website. And then I had to figure out how to look natural with it and both those things were going very badly. Hello, my name is Garrett Watts. Can I get some Baskin Robbins, please? Hello, I'm Garrett. Can I get the boss nachos? Pardon me, ma'am. Can I get some nachos or what? Can I get some taco, some so yeah, that was going very badly for me and I didn't feel prepared at all. And then my cameraman said something like, Hey, you're not paying me anything and I've got a lot to do today, so can we please wrap this up? And that's when I knew that I was ready to go. On my way out, I ran into one of my best friends, Caleb. And he said he had just hotboxed his apartment. And I didn't know what that meant, but I assumed it had something to do with alcohol, so I got right out of there. Alright, so uh, first we're gonna go to Taco Bell and try to get uh, boss nachos. While driving around Los Angeles, I couldn't help but notice all these well-to-do citizens that looked like they were just dying to be spoken to in an unsolicited manner by an unemployed stranger in his car. And sure, some of them look busy working or just living their lives and some of them were definitely not working but just the same the indifferent asshole inside of me needed to know if they would combine nachos and ice cream do you think it'll combo huh? ice cream and nachos do you think it'd be good ice cream and nachos yeah oh i like ice cream and i really don't like nachos so but not together not together thank you i love you ice cream and nachos no way hello ice cream and nachos what huh? <laughs> have you guys ever had nachos and ice cream together do you think it'd be good what are you guys doing? Just hanging out? That looks chill. Was that guy in face paint? <laughs> yes, he was. Oh, there's a Taco Bell. Hi, how are you today? Good, how are you? Can I get some boss nachos? Um, we don't sell the boss nachos anymore. Uh, my friend Shane said that you guys did sell the boss nachos, and I, th I think he'd know, because he, well, I think he, no, I was just uh, making sure that's what you So said. I'm good, yeah. I'll just come in and look at some of the nacho options on the menu. Hey, I didn't order anything. I so at this point I figured I just needed to get into Taco Bell to show them that the guy who told me to order the Boss Nachos was in a Taco Bell commercial and how could he be wrong and that they were just being big dumb idiots. So I tried to pull it up on my phone but then they just said, oh hey, get out of here, you can't film in here. Anyways, it turns out they were right about not having the Boss Nachos so I just ordered the biggest nachos they had. But while I was waiting on my nachos, something magical happened. I met a woman named Karen. She asked what I was up to and I told her. She said, ugh, that sounds pretty gross. You know what? I hate mocha ice cream. What do you not believe me? Listen. I don't like mocha. God, why would I lie to you? If you're gonna watch my videos, we need to build trust. That's just the way it is. Anyway, so I said, Karen, I'll add mocha ice cream just for you. And I don't know, I think that might have made her feel good. I can't be sure. I'm not a psychologist. So anyways, my nachos arrived, but of course I forgot to get them to go. So I just took them as they were. But I ran into Karen again on the way out and I gave her a handshake. Then I gave her a high five. Karen, I'm gonna add mocha for you. Okay. All right. Mocha for Karen. So now I just gotta drive around with this. And also it doesn't help that I really miss Karen. 
Now my car won't start. I know this might look kind of sad, but I feel kind of cool actually, just like Jessica Alba in that one scene in Sin City when she says this about her car. Nobody but me can keep this hate running. See? Kind of cool, right? I'm just like her. <laughs> Baskin Robbins, here we come. But we're losing light. We're losing light. I'm a filmmaker. So I arrived at Baskin Robbins and it was finally time to ask my big question to a beautiful employee named Vanessa. Could you put ice cream directly on top of this? Yeah, sure. You could. As I'm sure you could tell by my very effeminate exclamation of, you could, I was pretty excited about this. Vanessa was going to work with me. And since the audio is really rough in this part, because approximately 13 million car alarms are going off, I'm going to take you through what happened in the form of a shitty 23 second R&B song that I made on my iPhone. Yo, now you know Vanessa, she put ice cream on my taco, uh, yeah. Hey, yeah, now Vanessa, you know she Vanessa. helped me. Put ice cream on my Taco Bell, yeah, yeah, Yo, yeah. Vanessa, you know, she Vanessa. helped me she put, put ice cream on my, my Taco Bell, Bell. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. it was a pretty common experience. Like if you've been to Baskin Robbins, you get it. Oh, you gotta get mocha for Karen. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mocha for Karen. Vanessa was amazing, so as I was leaving, I told her that I loved her. Bye, I love you. But she forgot to say it back to me. But I knew this was no time to focus on heartache. I had to get to the 99 cent store to get a lot of silly ingredients. So we have our ice cream, but it is also melting quickly. So clearly I was in a bit of a race against time, but luckily there at the 99 cent store, I was able to find the Reese's and I was able to find the Pop-Tarts, which by the way, were pumpkin pie flavored. Which has got to be one of the most important inventions of all time. Like certainly more important than penicillin or electricity. So unfortunately, the 99 cent store didn't have Hot Pockets. They just had pizza snack rolls. I didn't know if it'd be okay to use these instead. So I asked a woman that I assume was probably named Beth or something. She seemed cool with it. And thank heavens for Beth, because this guy didn't seem to have an opinion either way, which is so rude. Whatever, who cares about him? So I found the ranch at the dollar store. And I also had to find bubble gum because I didn't have bubble gum flavored ice cream at Baskin Robbins. So I just got cotton candy instead. She said it was basically the same thing, just add bubble gum to it. So I was like, okay, so I got the bubble gum. Unfortunately, at checkout, I was getting some dirty looks from some of the patrons. I assumed it was because they were just jealous of my ice cream, though. This looks like something you wouldn't eat. I said this looks like something he would eat, but he didn't. He didn't hear. So luckily in the next door, I found the Nutella right away, but some woman was like, oh, I like Nutella. And I was like, great, then get some of your own. And maybe stop eyeballing mine. I found the Sriracha and then uh, unbelievably that gym rat guy ignored me again. Oh, this looks like something you would need. Whatever, then it was time to check out, but of course something magical happened at checkout. I met a grocery store goddess named Natasha. In fact, when she saw my ice cream and nachos, she said something really funny. That's for me, ice cream and cake. Okay, wow, Natasha, it's not cake and it's not for you. But more importantly than that grave misunderstanding was the fact that she had about 3,000 gold stars on her shirt. So creepy as a statement it may have been, I confidently said these words to her. I would die if one of your gold stars. And then she said something really cool like, honey, you don't got to do all that. I'll just give you one. Either she was really kind or just genuinely thought that I was developmentally challenged. Didn't make any difference to me. I got a gold star out of it. Come on, let me pin it on you. I'm obsessed. I thought I was obsessed with Karen today, but no. Sorry, Karen. You're out. Natasha's in. So at this point, I was pretty excited to get back to my apartment and combine these ingredients. But of course, I ended up running into a legendary stranger in the parking lot who ended up telling me about a word that he invented. So I created the word called Nilik. Nilik is the slang term chillin' spelled backwards. It is slang for great, excellent, and awesome, but above all, to be the best you you can possibly be. So it's like, stay Nilik. It's Nilik time. Nilik to the max. You guys have the best night ever. Thank you guys so much. I love you. <sighs> wow. What a day. So look. This is really disgusting. This is all melted. Oh no. I'm just looking at this realizing that I'm gonna have to put this in my mouth and also in my stomach and then eat it. Oh, it's gonna do such awful things to my body. Shit. Okay, I just want you guys to understand the gravity of the situation. The gravity. <laughs> Everything that's on these nachos. Uh, nacho cheese, beans, th there's meat I see, birthday cake, ice cream, chocolate chip, mint chip, tomatoes, cotton candy, and mocha for Karen. Mocha for Karen. Hi Karen. Uh, this isn't gonna be pretty. And it's not, not gonna help oh god that we have to add all this shit but let's just start doing it anyways okay oh so let's go ahead and start with pop tarts and look i'm not gonna pretend to be opening them for the first time right now i ate three packets oh well what do we have here got a survivor don't look at me oh Ooh. okay but you know what three sleeves of pop tarts isn't that big of a deal uh it is only 1200 calories what we're doing here is already very disgusting, so let's get fancy with this, why not? Let's get some fancy classical music playing. I got bitches on my waist. Fancy classical music, thank you. And we're just gonna... That was actually the least fanciest thing I've ever done. Yeah. Oh, I'm making, oh my god! I just made the most precious thing. You know what, this actually looks pretty cute. All right, next thing, Reese's Fast Breaks. Fast Breaks? That makes it sound like an active lifestyle sort of thing. It's not. I should probably just try one. <gasps> I've got him! That one's got a bite in it. That's okay. Oh, a Pop-Tart friend! Ooh, do you hear that sound? It sounds like something from Kill Bill. So, what's so me, Chenya? I don't that wasn't Japanese. That was probably very racially insensitive. I'm sorry. Ooh, this is actually getting very dangerous. Alley-oop. Let's see how these cut. <laughs> oh! Oh, man! Oh, man! What am I doing? Oh. 
Ooh. Okay, fun. Reese is added. This next part uh, is gonna. Mm. So for whatever reason, I've always thought the taste of bubble gum was vomit inducing. I would rather get eaten by an actual shark, um, and then shat out, and then eaten by another much scarier animal, um, than eat anything that's bubble gum flavored. But here we are. So. Oh, look at this. <clears throat> this smell. I hate this. I don't want to even touch it. I don't. I'm not gonna touch this. Don't ask why I own these. It's actually nothing creepy. Let's touch bubble gum. Oh, I hated that sentence. Oh, oh, it smells so bad. Oh, it looks like flesh. Oh, Shane. That's it, that's it. Oh, no, I don't want that in my apartment. I don't want it on the floor. I don't want it anywhere. Oh, let's, okay, real quick. Let's kill the gum. Let's kill it with a knife. Now with a sword. Cool, now with fire. Great, now guns. Hooray, it's dead. <laughs> well, okay. That felt great. Let's do a little bit of ranch. Besides the bubble gum, it looks kind of cool right now. Ooh, okay, here it goes. Ooh, oh, oh, you know what? Ranch, how do we feel about it? I've always been a blue cheese boy myself. Oi, oi. Yikes. By the way, dairy that doesn't need to be refrigerated, stay away from it, always. Potassium sorbate, sodium benzate, mm, I'll take none. Okay, the Nutella, this is nice. Some people are Nutella people, I don't know. I've never been a big Nutella person. People who love Nutella love Nutella. Let's try Nutella together. Having a knife makes everything so much easier. Okay, I get it. Do you know what this tastes identical to? Is the inside of those, uh, like, Christmas chuffles. The, you know what, it, the, those. Oh, thought that was ice cream, that was ranch. At this point, there's probably nothing that I will get on my finger that I taste and go, mmm, that was a good idea to put that in your mouth. Okay, so this looks disgusting. We all know what it looks like, I get it. But it does look like shit. Okay, fun. Oh, our little hot pocket pizza things. So they're frozen <laughs> and it says cook thoroughly. Uh, here's the thing, I don't care. <gasps> Michelina's pizza rolls, you're in trouble. Look, do you see this? That says 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. <gasps> Michelina's pizza snack rolls. You've got some explaining to do. Okay, that looks great. Why is this here? Oh. Um, my little table is kind of dirty. Okay, next up Shane's had a whole effing bottle of sriracha. How'd that look? I tried to make it look like it came from outer space, but you probably know that I just threw it up, right? And then caught it. Oh, good, it's got natural color. Natural color, everybody. What does that mean? It's everything has natural color, Sriracha. What is going on? <laughs> it's, all right, well, knife. I was gonna get my eyes. Okay, let's make all this very spicy. Oh, I wanna do an X for X-Men. That wasn't pretty. No, I'll make it pretty. Putting sriracha on my garbage. <laughs> we did it. Okay, so there we have it. Ice cream nachos with a whole bunch of garbage on them. I guess what I'm gonna do at this point now is just p pick up some of this and put it in my body for, your, for, to, for to put on the internet. There's a lot of meat in here that's been sitting out for a long time. This could go so badly. Everything in here is so wet. I wish you could understand. It's just a bowl of actual liquids at this point. Mmm. Mmm, good. That was great. I'm really glad that that was just that I get to try more. Okay, I have a bag in case I throw up. This is probably not a good idea that it's paper. We'll deal with that when we get there. I really don't want to get there, by the way. If I puke because of this, Shane Dawson is losing a limb. I'm actually gonna cut off his damn leg. All right, let's try a bigger piece. Oh, I don't even know what I'm fingering right now. Oh, that's meat. All right, let's put this in our mouth now. Mmm, everything hurts. My taste buds, my mouth. Okay, here's two pizza pockets with Nutella on them. Oh, fall off the side, I don't care. We're just gonna scoop it from the bottom. Well, it looks like on this bite we have actually everything. Um, look, I gotta be frank. I've never eaten vomit. You know, how dogs do. Until now. This is the most disgusting shit ever. I'm about to name five things I'd rather do than eat this shit. Uh, cut my elbow real bad with a razor blade. Uh, use a hoverboard in public places where people can see me. Watch Batman vs Superman again. Do algebra. Hang out with Ted Cruz. But instead, I guess I'll just eat this shit. 
Well, there's no part of this that I haven't tasted now, but since it's already here, let's just do one more. Because that's all I have in me. A large chunk of Nutella. Wait, what is it? And then a pizza bite. We'll get something from every part of all the ice cream flavor meltings. Oh, good. I found a treasure trove of ice cold nacho cheese. Let's get some of that on there. Mmm, is that a tomato? Let's stack it on. This is actually everything in one nightmare bite. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more of a lot of things. I'm going to be doing so much here. Every Thursday I'm going to be uploading a new video. I don't know what it'll be, but it'll always be good and I'll always give you the most I can give you, which will be a lot. So please subscribe. I can't wait to hang out with you more. <clears throat> I did throw up. So did it combo? <clears throat> uh, no. Hell no. Ugh. Um. So guys, thanks for watching again and uh, <clears throat> um, please subscribe and uh, I'll see you every Thursday. I'm gonna go violently throw this in the dumpster now. Okay, everyone be sweet. Bye. All right, we're picking up our first guest, Garrett, and look at him, he's just hanging out by the trash cans. Hey, we're about to go on a magical ride because today is all about Harry Potter. <laughs> really? Yeah. Ooh, playing Quidditch.